I'm going to show you how to add an animated loading bar to any of your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so just to start we have this cloud time lapse here. And let's say we wanted to add a loading bar to this for some reason. First, I'm going to make an adjustment layer for us. We'll put in 25 frames per second because that's what this is filmed in. And I'm just gonna drag this over here and we're gonna add a quick anamorphic crop to this before we start. So we'll go to the effects tab, search for crop, and then we're going to bring the top 12% and the bottom to 12%. And now we have an adjustment layer with an anamorphic crop. So let's say this is our time lapse here, and we want to add a loading bar to this for some reason. And all we would have to do is go back to our project page, and then we're going to click on the little paper icon down here, and we're going to go to color mat. Now we're gonna make the time base 25 frames per second because that is what our video is shot in. We're gonna click okay, and then we get to pick the color of our loading bar. So I don't know, let's say this is for YouTube. So we're gonna make it red for like YouTube red. So we'll go all the way to red, click okay, and we'll call this red loading bar. Now we're gonna drag this color mat onto our clip right at the top so it goes over everything. Now right now we just have a full red screen, but again, as we did for the anamorphic crop, we'll go effects, crop, we'll drag this onto the red loading bar. And what we're gonna do is basically just use our sliders here to determine the size of the bar. We can make it as skinny as we want. Let's say we want it like that. And then we can go into the motion tab change the position so I don't really like it down to the black bar because it looks kind of uneven so what we're going to do is we're going to move it up and we're going to put it on the actual clip right there now the next step to this is going back to the start of the clip and we're going to take the right side and we're going to bring this all the way to 100 so that the loading bar is not showing at all we're going to keyframe it and then you click the down arrow to go to the next cut that will bring us to the end of the clip and we're going to bring the right back to zero. And what that does is it makes the loading bar start zero and progressively get longer and longer until at the end of the clip, it is at a hundred and fully loaded. So now when we play this clip back, you can see that the loading bar goes and goes and goes all the way to the end of the time lapse and hits 100 right at the end. Now, if you wanted a loading bar that was a little bit more complex than just a little bit of a red line, we can use the same principle on any image really to get a more complex effect. So let's go see that right now. So I'm going to go and grab this loading bar PNG that I have and I'll extend it over the duration of the clip. But let's say we don't want it to look exactly like this. You go to motion, we will uncheck uniform scale and then we're going to change this to be exactly how we want it. So let's say I want the loading bar to look something like that. And again, we can reposition it wherever we want. So we're gonna say we want it right here. I don't know, this just for an example, but let's say there is fine. We're going to do the exact same thing on this image that we have here. We will go once again to effects, crop, drag it on, and then from the start of the clip, we're going to set right crop to 100, keyframe it, and then we're going to hit the down arrow to get to the end of the clip. We're going to set the right arrow to zero. And again, when we play it through, you can now see this loading bar start up and load. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's nothing too complex, but it's just something you might not think of that can come in handy sometimes. If you did find this tutorial useful, then please make sure to subscribe for other tutorials for videographers and aspiring film students such as myself in the future. And let me know in the comments how you plan on using this tutorial. I would love to have a chat with you down there. Anyways, until next time, peace out.